today's video, we're going to show you how we installed our automatic waters. Stay tuned. Now we're going to mount the five gallon bucket to the outside of our chicken tractor. I'm just using a four inch long hook. I'm going to drill a quarter inch pilot hole to start it so it makes it a lot easier to go in. It's not it's just a pilot hole to get it started. Mm. I'm gonna go in the bucket and see if I put the wrench in there. And I'm just gonna take the bucket, hang it on the hook. Then I'm going to take a junk piece of 2 by 4 and on the bottom side, just go and put it under the bucket so it's taking a little bit of the weight off the hook because 5 gallons of water is going to weigh quite a lot so you don't want that, you don't want all that weight just on that hook and the handle. We're just using two 2.5 two inch long deck screws. Then I'm just using two scrap pieces of 2 by 4 probably about two feet long. I'm going to mount them to the back two by four, one on each side. The reason I put these two two by fours here is to space the water that much further off the back wall so the ducks or chickens can get up closer to it without having to worry about getting in the chicken wire. Then you're just going to need two three quarter inch pipe brackets. You want to make sure the water nipples are pointing down. Not completely, but pretty close. I'm just using inch and a quarter drywall screws to mount this. And then it's just going to be four screws. So when the ducks grow, or the chickens grow, we can adjust the height as needed. You want to make sure it's level. Then you're just going to take your hose, push it on the bar. You don't need a clamp or anything. That is good. Then you're going to connect the other end to your bucket. Then I'm just going to use a 4 inch long screw at an angle. And that's where I'm going to hang my excess hose. Then just go ahead and fill up your bucket. Now you need to prime the system. It's a little air bound. Oh, you might have to suck on it to get the water going. Yay. You can't see now. You gotta suck on it to get the water going. And then you wanna put the hose back on. And the pipe is air bound now. So you gotta push the nipples in and get the air out of the system. If you listen, you can hear it gurgling. Go to the end one. So I'm gonna show you guys why I have the 20 feet worth of hose and how I move my chicken tractor. I just uh, now I can just go ahead, lift this up off, take my hose, set it all down on the ground. I can go ahead and move my chicken tractor 10 feet forward or so, whatever the length of the tractor is, and I have plenty of hose to do so. Then when I'm all done, just pick it back up. Set it on the 2x4, put the handle in place. You want to make sure it's sitting on the 2x4 so you don't have all the weight on the handle with all the strain on the bucket. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hang back up my hose. It's as simple as that. This is the way I thought of doing it. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but if you have any better ideas, leave them in the comments below. We can all learn and grow together. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, share it. It really helps us over here. So, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time right back here at Lumna Acres. Yes! That little pipe back there might not look that much to you, but... That saves me from hauling water out to the chickens first thing in the morning when I get home from work.
and sometimes before I go to bed. So now they'll have five gallons of water. That should last them two days, maybe four. So I only got to lug water a couple of times a week to each chicken tractor versus three times a day. These little accomplishments at the homestead really make me excited. See you guys next time.